नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेशन टू इन अवर कोर्स ऑन ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट इन अवर सेशन वन वी हैव कवर्ड द ओवरऑल पिक्चर ऑफ द कोर्स वी हैव कवर्ड द ओवरऑल कोर्स कंटेंट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस कोर्स एंड वी हैव सीन दैट द कोर्स इज डिवाइडेड इन टू ट्वेल्व वीक्स इट इज अ थर्टी आर कोर्स इन विच वी हैव ट्वेल्व वीक्स ऑफ डिस्कशन ईच डिस्कशन ऑफ टू एंड हाफ आवर्स ईच एंड फर्दर सब डिवाइडेड इन टू हाफ आवर यूनिट्स सो इन एवरी वीक यू विल गेट फाइव यूनिट्स ऑफ हाफ एन आवर ईच सो अ वीकली कंटेंट विल बी ऑफ टू एंड हाफ आवर्स एंड फॉर ट्वेल्व वीक्स विल बी रिलीजिंग अ टू एंड हाफ आवर्स कंटेंट एवरी वीक सो दैट द टोटल कोर्स ड्यूरेशन विल बी थर्टी आवर्स ऑफ ओवरऑल डिस्कशन नाउ वी हैव सीन दैट द टाइटल ऑफ द कोर्स इज ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट सो देर आर टू वर्ड्स हेयर ऑपरेशन एंड management so we need to understand both of them in our you can say endeavor to learn this course first thing is operations what are operations i think all of you may be well aware and you can easily define operations for example in banking industry all of us may be using the banking for our day to day we can say uh, financial transactions so what do we do there we go we fill certain forms and then we can withdraw the money sometimes for making a draft we fill a specific form give that form to a particular person sitting on the counter and then we can collect our draft maybe immediately or maybe after some time so that is also an operation we are giving a requisition and we are being served and our requirement is being met by the personal who is sitting on a specific counter so that also we can call as operation so those operations are service sector operations similarly many times we go and we get a boarding pass from the airport so that also is a an operation we are issuing a request and we are getting served and we are getting the output in the form of a boarding pass so there are number of examples of operations but when we talk about operations on the shop floor or operations in the manufacturing industry we have a slightly different you can say understanding our inputs are also tangible our outputs are also tangible now what can be the inputs in case of manufacturing so the inputs are maybe men material equipment machines money so we have a tangible input which undergoes a transformation please remember the word transformation so there are certain inputs which are transformed into a tangible output for example the shirt i am wearing this shirt the input may be a cloth the transformation is the stitching and the outcome is the shirt that i have bought from the market so the whenever we talk of manufacturing our operations means that we supply the raw material it undergoes certain transformations and finally we get our output now operations if we are able to understand management means that we have to optimally utilize the resources in order to achieve our overall objective what is the overall objective the overall objective can be to convert these raw materials or raw inputs into the final outputs effectively as well as efficiently we want that our processes or operations must be effective they must be efficient so managing that operation is the basic concept of operations management so first word is operations that is the process of converting the raw material into the final product 
and management is the act of exercising the act of controlling or directing in order to achieve the objective of converting the raw materials into the final product so we will try to understand the basic concept of operations management but before going to that let me draw a very simple diagram of what i have already explained so you can see basically this can be our transformation and then we have certain inputs just to name a few inputs we can have material we can have men as an input we can have machine as an input and then there is transformation now transformation can be mechanical transformation it can be chemical processing it can be any form of transformation as i have told my shirt has been stitched so stitching is a process of transformation suppose we are doing a turning operation we are cutting the metal so cutting can be the process of transformation so here we have transformation so we have transformation transformation here and finally we have our output output can be desirable or this can be defects so we can have a desirable output or we can have a defective output now the operations basically is the conversion of these raw materials using any form of transformation and getting the output output can be a desirable output or it can be a defective output now this is the basic concept of operations now coming on to the management now management has to take certain decisions now what are the decisions first thing is what has to be the output that is what the company must produce or whatever the company or the organization whatever it is producing is it being asked or is there demand of that material or product in the market or not so what has to be produced is one question that is related to the product or the output the company is producing or manufacturing second is how much so first question i write here is what what the company must produce then how much so these questions have to be answered that then there is another question when so we have to find answers to all these questions then from the left hand side we can say who who is going to produce what is going to be produced how much is going to be produced when it is going to be produced so there can be many other such questions that may come to a mind of a production manager and in operations management we try to figure out that how we can manage these answers or how we can manage the answers to these questions there can be other issues maybe this diagram gives a very good picture of what we are going to cover in this course we need to manage the materials when we should order how much we should order what type of materials we should order so opens up a completely new domain of inventory and materials management there are latest trends in materials management like materials requirement planning mrp and we have to understand these concepts in today's scenario you no company can survive without 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग और विदाउट यूटिलाइजिंग द लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड्स बींग फॉलोड इन इंडस्ट्री और लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड्स बींग फॉलोड इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट आंसर इन टर्म ऑफ वट टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट हाउ मच टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट इज सेल्स फोरकास्टिंग वेन इट हैज टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड शेड्यूलिंग रिगार्डिंग मटीरियल्स वी हैव टू टेक अ डिसीजन दैट how much material is required what is the economic order quantity what is the how to classify the materials when we should order the material so managing all this overall we can say operations comes under the broad umbrella of operations management and that is what we are going to cover in this course the title of today's session is operations management operations management sorry and the objectives of operations management so i think i have tried to give you an overview of what we can expect in this course so what we are trying to basically understand is what has to be produced we have a complete session on product design and development we will see the product life cycle there we will try to understand that how the product needs to be uh, revisited or how the product needs to be redesigned in order to be effective in the market or in order to the in order for the company to sustain in the market many times it may happen that when we understand the product life cycle we know that after a particular duration of time the product sales have to go down or the product demand will decrease so we forecast that and we try to come up with a redesigned product a reinvented product a modified product so that the product is able to capture new markets so we will try to understand the product life cycle we will try to understand the concepts of value engineering we will try to understand the design for manufacturing design for assembly we will try to understand the ergonomic design of a product we will try to understand finally the rapid prototyping how to make a prototype quickly so we will try to answer this question what what the company must produce in order to be successful then we will try to answer the question how much how means that how much are the sales required or what is the volume of sales that you are foreseeing so we will have a complete session on sales forecasting we will try to answer the question how much we will see the qualitative methods of forecasting we will try to understand the quantitative methods of forecasting we will see the simple average moving average method weighted moving average method also we will cover the exponential smoothing method so we will try to answer what to be produced how much to be produced when it should be produced how to plan how to schedule we will have a session a complete maybe one week discussion on the project networks we will try to understand the critical path method we will try to understand the pert method so we will see when regarding scheduling we will see what we will see how much we will also try to understand the management of materials or materials management we will try to understand how much materials have to be ordered what is the economic order quantity and what are the basic you can say objectives of materials management we will try to understand this transformation we will not go into the actual processes that how the process operates but we will try to understand that how what is the capacity with that we the company possess how the capacity can be improved all that capacity planning aggregate production planning we will try to understand from the transformation point of view so overall we will try to cover the management aspects of transformation of raw materials into the final product so that will be the overall you can say objective of our course on operations management so whatever i have tried to explain with the help of this simple diagram we have you can say put it into a presentation form also for all of you to understand and use it as a ready reference so quickly i'll try to go through the presentation and try to explain what has not been covered with the help of this diagram so you can see this is the uh, 
basic definition of operations management, the business function responsible for planning, coordinating and controlling the resources. Now, what are the resources on your black uh, white board you can see that the resources can be man, material, machines or other infrastructural resources needed to produce products and services for a company. So, what is the output? The output is the products that we are producing. So, the operations management is dealing with you can see three important words planning, coordinating and controlling. So, we have to see how uh, we have to be, uh, judiciously, effectively, efficiently use our resources so that our desired output is produced in the most cost effective manner. And that overall you can say managing or planning of those operations will fall under the overall umbrella of operations management. Then operations management we can also understand as the systematic direction, control and evaluation of the entire range of processes that transform inputs into finished goods or services. So, here you can see in place of direction, uh, in place of planning in the previous definition, here it is direction, rest I think more or less is the same. So, we have to systematically plan, we have to systematically direct our resources so that we are able to transform the inputs that is man material man uh, machine into the output that is desirable or the services that are desirable. For example, in an aircraft industry, we can take example where there are flight attendants. So, they are offering the services, they are offering the food, they are offering the drinks. So, we have to see that how we have to optimize our resources so that the customers are satisfied. So, in hospitality industry, customer satisfaction is very, very important. So, in manufacturing industry, also customer satisfaction is very, very important. In manufacturing, the customer will definitely buy a product if, if the product is of good quality. So, how to transform the resources into a good quality product that is basically we can say falling uh, as a subset of operations management. So, we will we can say that systematic direction, control, and evaluation of the entire range of processes that transform the input into the finished goods. So, important point here is control and evaluation also. Direction means that we have to plan the things properly and we have to issue the order so that the transformation can take place smoothly. But we have to exercise control also. We have to see that whatever we have planned whether the process is happening as per our plan or there is there are significant changes or there is significant deviation from the planned uh, project or from the planned progress. So, we have planned something and control will help us to exercise uh, you can say check on what is actually happening. If whatever is actually being recorded is as per the plan, then we need not do any you can say corrective actions. But if we have planned something, for example, there is a forecast of 400 cars to be sold in one week, maybe next week. We have to produce these 400 cars in the current week, so that by next week our 400 cars are ready. But after fourth day on Thursday, we see that we have only produced 200 cars. So, we are at 50 percent uh, you can say uh, target and we have to further make 200 cars, but the days left are only 3 that is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So, we if we divide 400 by 7, so we get that approximately we should make uh, maybe 57 or 58 cars per day. But after 4 days we are lacking maybe by some numbers. So, we have to see that how to speed up, how to manage so that we are able to meet the 
target so our control is that we have checked after fourth fourth day that what is the actual progress that is 200 cars what was the planned progress by how much cars we must have produced by the end of fourth day what is the difference and how we can make up that difference what corrective action is required that is basically one example of control then we can evaluate at a later stage that why we were not able to meet the target what were the problem areas how we can overcome those problem areas then we can send a feedback to our inputs and then we can correct our inputs so that we are able to meet the target in future so it is not only the process of planning it is also the process of checking and controlling as well as at the later stage evaluating our performance we can benchmark our performance as compared to the performance of the other competitive comp companies or the organization so we need to we will be able to appreciate the course if we are able to understand and highlight that why we are discussing this course now this course is important because it gives an over overall picture of managing the operations. So, definition once again must be clear in everybody's mind that it is a systematic direction, control and evaluation of the entire range of processes that transform inputs into finished goods or services. So, it is not only related to manufacturing industry, but can also be used by the service sector or the hospitality industry also. As we have seen in the session, first session that what are the uh, course contents, there we have seen that it is not only the hardcore shop floor activities only, overall picture we have to take into account. We have to take into account the environmental factors such as cultural, political and market influences which are not internal but external factors. Now, internal factors can be uh, with that the factors within the organization that are influencing our decision making. External factors are like political, market and economic factors, financial factors, cultural factors which are going to influence our decisions. Similarly, inputs uh, can be as we have seen here I have drawn a diagram there are other inputs also human resources capital that is financial you can say uh, aspect materials land energy information customer so we have a wide range of inputs then the outputs can be goods or services and waste. So, I have already depicted output can be desirable it can be defective output also then customer contact Customers can actively participate in transformation processes, self-service in case of hospitality, performance feedback, repair records, customer comments. So, a feedback can be sent as I have told that if we are producing a defective item or we have sold an item in the market or in the or sold a product in the market and there are few defects related to the product being reported by the customer, we can definitely send a feedback and try to change the inputs or change the transformation process so that the defective or the defects or uh, can be rectified. So, this is the just a overall picture of operations management. Now, it refers to the management of the production system that transforms inputs into finished goods and services. Some of you may be wondering why same and same sentences are coming into picture. The importance has to be highlighted number of times, so that it gets ingrained into your thinking power or thinking process you are you may be easily able to answer the sentence gives the same meaning that was given in the previous slide also but this is to reiterate the definition so that all the learners can remember because the first question can be you have completed the course on operations management how do you define operations management so you are able to give a single sentence definition of operations management now Production system is a word which has come in the definition. What is a production system? I have already drawn the production system there. The way a firm acquires the inputs and then converts and disposes the output. So, this is the you can say production system. There are inputs, there is a transformation and there are outputs. Then operations manager, the people who are responsible for the transformation process from inputs to outputs. Again, the same as you on your screen, you can see that 
production system how it looks like there is a demand information then there are raw materials and parts and resources and finally we get the product so we have to take a call here you can see that what has to be produced and how much has to be produced these two will send an input here and that input will be then transformed into the output that number is very very important because once you have that number your transformation all the other decisions will depend on that we will cover that when we will come to our session on sales forecasting we will try to understand that once we have a forecast ready with us once we know the forecast we know as i have taken an example that 400 cars have to be produced in the next week that is a forecast that forecast is available then how that forecast is going to affect our decisions decisions related to material decision related to men decisions related to infrastructure decisions related to the time or the schedule we will try to understand that in our course or in our week on sales forecasting or during our discussion on sales forecasting so the input the demand in information data that is given here you can say will come from the sales forecasting and once we have that data it will be an input into the system and it will guide the system in such a way that the demand is met when the product is required in the market now the source is given here this is typical organizational chart the president or the ceo then marketing operations and finance so usually in any operations uh, company that is involved in operations th these uh, three people are very very important the marketing people the operations persons and the finance persons our you can say target here will be we may not focus too much on marketing we may not focus too much on finance but definitely we will focus on operations and you can see uh, the vice president of operations will manage the people equipment technology materials and information why in order to produce goods and or services so this is the you can say vertical or the function that we are targeting we are targeting this course towards the operations managers or the vice president of operations that what is their job profile so you start you enter the organization and then you climb up the ladder and finally you can at time become a ceo of a company but before that maybe you may be in any of the three verticals you can be from finance you can be from operations you can be from marketing this is a typical age old organizational structure used in industries now operation management basic concepts we need quality goods goods and services that are reliable and perform correctly efficiency the amount of input to produce a given output responsiveness to customer actions taken to respond to the customer's need this we will cover in our session on product design and development that is responsiveness to customers now what can be we, we have tried to look at different books and different websites and we have tried to look at notes from different uh, renowned scholars and authors so basically as per our understanding objectives of operations management can be to produce the right quality the in right quantity at the predetermined time and with the pre established cost so we need to produce we need to do the transformation we need to convert the raw materials into the final product with these objectives that we produce the right quality in right quantity at predetermined time and pre established cost so four things we have to be very very sure of that is quality quantity time and cost so any time we if a question is asked that what are the important parameters that you take care of what is the criteria of defining that how you are producing we can say that if quality is good quantity is met time we are doing it in a fair amount of time and the cost is logical we can say we are producing well or we are managing our operations in the best possible manner 
then there are intermediate objectives also they are helpful to achieve the main objectives main objectives are given in the previous slide that is quality quantity time and cost so intermediate objectives are helpful to achieve the main objectives by optimum utilization of various inputs like man material and machine so uh, stated in terms of this already machinery and equipment materials manpower and supporting devices so operations management decision strategic decision so set the direction for the entire company they are broad in scope and long term in nature tactical decisions focus on specific day to day issues like resources needed schedules and quantities to produce so basically you can see that in operations management two levels of decisions we have to take strategic or higher order decisions and tactical or middle or lower level decisions usually three types of planning activity is done in any organization we do strategic planning we do corporate planning and we do operational planning so from the we can say time time span point of view strategic planning is always done for long time corporate planning for intermediate time and finally operational planning for maybe 3 to 4 months duration only so uh, in operations management point of view we have to do both the strategic decisions or strategic planning which can be long term and tactical which can be short term planning so this is the historical development i leave this uh, session here with this historical development so we can see that industrial revolution was there in late 70s and then maybe jit and tqm were developed in 1980s and finally uh, electronic commerce was the uh, we can say latest trend in 2000 and supply chain management research and activity started in somewhere in 90s 1990s so lot of uh, changes have taken place lot of developments have taken place how in how companies manage their operation so supply chain management is also one of the latest trends of how the companies manage their operations so we will have a session or two on supply chain management also during our course we will touch this topic also in one of one or the other weeks so with this we come to the end of today's session so today's session was an introductory session only on operations management and we will try to definitely cover or answer all questions like what to produce how much to produce when to produce and how to manage the materials how to do the planning all that we are going to understand in our course thank you